Welcome back to Tile 5 Auto Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why you're feeling vibration while driving. The first and most common reason why you're feeling vibration while driving is going to be your wheels are out of balance. Every single tires and wheels that are manufactured and made is going to come with some sort of imperfection. For example, we have this tire over here. And when this tire is made in the factory, some part of the tires may have more rubber than the other side. This is why weights are added to the wheel to help balance out the tires. Also, the wheel is itself may also be out of balance and weights are also placed on the wheel. It's either placed on the outside of the wheel or on the inside of the wheel. If your tires are not out of balance, maybe you have a tire issue. For example, maybe your tires are missing threads. For example, it could be missing thread over here, 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 and here. Or it may be wearing out extremely unevenly. For example, it may be wearing out a lot in the center or on the edges. Or also, maybe you have large pieces of rubber missing from the tire. For example, a large piece missing over here, over here, over here, over here. If it's missing large pieces of rubber, that is called scalloping. Usually scalloping is caused by extremely worn strut or shocks. The next common reason why you're feeling vibration while driving is going to be caused by a bad axle. The reason why axles start to fail is going to be number one, normal wear and tear. And number two, the uh, dust boot on the axle is ripped and torn. So when the uh, dust boot is ripped and torn is going to cause the uh, grease to leak out of the axle and it's going to introduce dirt and rocks into the axle bearing and this will cause increased friction and it's going to cause the axle again to prematurely fail. The next common reason why you're feeling vibration while driving is going to be caused by worn wheel bearings. If your wheel bearing is worn, it's going to cause the wheel to wobble and you're also going to hear a growling noise while driving. The quickest way to check for a bad wheel bearing is to jack up the vehicle and place it on jack stand. Next, grab the wheel or tire at the 3 o'clock position and, and the 9 o'clock position and rock it in and out like this. Next, grab the 12 o'clock position and the 6 o'clock position and rock it in and out like this. If the wheel or tires start to rock in and out, that means the uh, wheel bearing is bad and it should be replaced. And you have a rear wheel drive vehicle or an all wheel drive vehicle, you're going to have dry shaft. And if the dry shaft is out of balance or the U-joints are worn or the carry bearings are worn, this can definitely cause intense vibration while driving. The next common reason why you're feeling vibration while driving is going to be caused by worn outer or inner tie rod. For the outer tie rod, if the rubber boot becomes worn, it's going to allow grease to leak out and it's going to allow dirt and rock to go inside and cause the uh, outer tie rod to prematurely fail. The next common reason why you're feeling vibration while driving is going to be caused by worn strut or worn shock. The purpose of the strut or shock is to help support the vehicle. Also, it helps to dampen vibration and shocks while driving. These are the main reason why you're feeling strong vibration while driving. However, there are a lot more components you should check, such as worn engine mount and transmission mount. You should check for worn, sus worn uh, suspension components, such as worn uh, control arm bushings, worn a uh, stabilizer link, and so on. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.